Warning, sarcastic commentary, spontaneous references, and random theories ahead. Watch at your own risk. Hello everybody, this is Discombobulate Gamer, and welcome back to part 10 of Detroit Become Human. I figured this time I would start talking now while the game is loading up, because I know as soon as we get to the main screen, our lovely Android friend on the main menu screen will have some stuff to say. Also, after the last episode, when I had already closed down all of my recording equipment and I went to get out of the game, I had this really weird experience with the title screen girl. She said, I have a question for you. Are we friends? And then this little screen popped up for me to say, yes or no, are we friends? Like, it was really weird. So I did say yes, that we are friends with the title screen girl, but it's really weird that she's like directly talking to me um i wonder if you made the right choices last time <sighs> let's see what you'll do today yeah she's reminding me okay so if you guys don't know Remember, oh you decide the fate of your characters thanks thanks you are yes so, so as an update character. uh not update like the last time i played i recorded several episodes in a row and during that i got connor killed and i shouldn't have I mean, I didn't mean to. I was trying to save Hank, and I really thought that if I protected Hank, that the game would kind of reward that, and that um, Connor would stay safe. But unfortunately, that's not how this game works. And I'm very concerned about Title Screen Girl at the moment. She looks very conflicted. She looks like she's trying to say something, but she can't get the words out. What is going on? What's the story behind you, person? I want to know your story, Android. Like, so far she is like one of, she's so interesting to me. Anyways, kind of as a summary of where we are. So Connor's dead. I'm really, really mad at myself for that. Um, and I'm going to do at least one more playthrough where I do not let him die. I don't and then, um, this, but I like yes, you have mentioned that before. Um, it really reflects your personality. Where was I? Kara and Alice and like Luther were met up with Rose who helps get, um, helps get deviants to Canada and she's agreed to help us and the game is implying that Alice might be an android I'm not sure what I think about that because in some ways I don't in some ways it makes a lot of sense and that'd be a really cool twist and in other ways I'm kind of like eh, but she was running a fever there's certain things that I don't think androids are supposed to do that if she is an android they're having her do I don't know um, and then the other big question is who is who or what is RA9? That's been a really big question over the last couple of episodes. Um, according to several of the androids, RA9 is a person, specifically the first android to ever become deviant, and that could be a lot of different people. Um, you know, Marcus seems to fit the role of, hey, I'm this deviant that's leading everybody, you know, in like, you know, leading everybody towards the goal of android freedom. Um, part of me had been wondering if maybe it was Connor, but then I killed Connor, so I don't think it's Connor. <laughs> um, I'm also kind of kicking around the idea that if Alice is an android, maybe it's her, because if she is an android, she had to have been deviant when we, like, when the game started. Because she the showed emotion then. Oh, will die for. I want to hear this. To live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. It's a good quote. I thought you'd like it. I do like it. Thank you, girl. I, I wish you had a name. I don't know your name, but hi. Thank you. Um, you kind of look like a Catherine to me. I might call you Catherine. Is that okay? I'm going to call you Catherine. Anyways, um, as I was saying, Alice could potentially be RA9, but I don't know how Alice will lead people to like freedom and stuff, but she did. like, If she is an android, which is still a big if to me, um, she did, like, comfort somebody in the last episode um, who was really distraught. I don't know. I really don't know. And then our boy Marcus is working on leading a peaceful rebellion. I, am, I have decided he is going to be peaceful. Last episode, they broke into all of the Cyber Life stores in Detroit and freed all of the androids. And then the police shot them, and it was really sad. But we're still peaceful. So <laughs> that's positive. Let's jump into this and see. My, the allergies are acting up, and as you guys know, that means my voice likes to go. All right, let's jump back into this.
I'm still really, really mad at myself about Connor because I really liked his character. I really liked where his story was going. And I'm so mad that I got him killed, especially because that's not how I predicted it. Wait. Oh, so are we just going to... What? <laughs> okay, game. Explain yourself. Explain yourself. I'm really happy, but explain yourself. Please. Please explain yourself. Please explain yourself. I am okay with this, but explain yourself. I am Hank right now. <laughs> what is going on? Hank, you agree with me. He was dead, right? I mean, I know he's an android, so I guess they maybe could have fixed him. I am okay with this, but I need some explanation. Jesus Christ. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. Interesting. So you died in my arms. And now you're back here as if nothing happened. Fuck you. I'm sorry, Hank. That was my fault. I saved you. Instinct. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. I don't know where bad we are. Feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a I'm sorry, Hank. I'm I'm so happy that you're here, though. I'm so happy, so happy, Connor, that you're not dead. But I'm really sorry, Hank. But where are we? I have so many questions right now. I'm just so happy that Hank uh, that not Hank. Hank is alive. I'm happy Hank is. Catherine. Hi. Uh, Catherine, you have I'm some explaining to do. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see. Oh, so we're here to see Kamsky. Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Kamsky is the guy who created androids. This will be fascinating, because I don't know... It'll be interesting to know if he knows about RA9 or not. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. I'm... I'm shocked. So he actually... That is a... Like... She's a real character, like beyond title screen girl. That's crazy to me. All right, let's go look. Oh, uh, hello. This must be Kamsky. Elijah Kamsky, Cyberlife founder, resigned in 2028, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. Which, interesting thing that I saw in the, I think it was one of the last episodes, he has no training in chemistry. So I have some questions about whether or not he actually invented those or not, but we'll find out. Maybe he's just a genius. I saw something over here. Is that... Nice Let's be sincere. You're right. She's really pretty. Aw, that's really cute. Right. Nice place. So, interesting. So, real quick. Man. Is it a, is it a, like, Android thing to be able to say that somebody's really pretty? Oh, hang on, I wanted to read that. These androids haven't been a bad thing. No, I wanted to read that. Shoot. I saw that it was Amanda. She was a professor, I think I got. How does it feel? How does it feel to make our, meet ma ma me our maker? Um. Impatient. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. Yeah, I saw something to read over here. It would be here. interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd I'm sorry, to. Hank. Space tourism on the rise. With the advent of reusable space shuttles, space tourism is becoming a reality for those able to afford it. Luxury travel brand Clear Skies is offering the first commercially available flight into space. The experience includes a three hour orbit of the moon, affording spectacular views of Earth through a specially designed observation deck. At competition increases in the growing market, consumers can expect such trips to become more and more affordable. But consumer rights activists are already decrying such boutique experiences as a sign of the widening social equality gap. A spokesman for the Aid on Poverty, AOP, said, While the top 1% are enjoying Earth from space, the rest of us are down here with suffering. You're suffering from pollution, famine, and poverty. Clear Skies was not available for comment, but the new slogan for their space-faring holidays looks increasingly apt. Get away from it all. Cyberlife fortune telecomputer. Ooh, this is interesting. 
CyberLife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops, one billion billion operations per second, the equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate predictions. Philip Seymour, CyberLife's director of future, Futurology, is highly confident. We've been testing for a while and the results are going to wow people. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events, such as aggressive alien invasions or global climate disasters like meteor meteors or super viruses. <clears throat> Oops, no, I wanted to finish reading that. I think. Come on, let me finish reading. The computer can then, quote, help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities, ensuring ensuring humanity is never caught off guard. Despite doomsday predictions from these fearful, from those fearful that AI is gaining too much influence already, many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap in applied artificial intelligence. Fascinating. So I really had wanted to see this picture. So clearly, clearly Amanda and um, Kamsky were close. Glad you will at see. one point in time. Maybe they still are close. Android is back. Get information from Kamsky. All right, Kamsky, where are you? Oh, you have a swimming pool. Oh, hello. You Mr. must Kamsky. be Kamsky. Just a moment, please. You have multiple versions of the same Android girl. And you have a red pool. Well, technically, it's a pool. Like, yeah. It's cool, but it's kind of ominous. Your your place is a little ominous looking. I have a bad, bad feeling. Is that by our favorite painter friend? But that's by our favorite painter friend. Hmm. All right, Kamsky. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Hmm. Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? I've got a really Perfect bad feeling about him. Infinite intelligence. Now they have free will. Hmm. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Hmm. I don't help deviants virus or war. Help. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free of... I was wondering if RA9 was a virus. Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. Is that what you're trying to say? The you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? What about me? I'm alive. That's all that matters right now. Who side you Whose side are you on? I'll I be neutral. No I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. I kind of want to make him a deviant, though. Well, that's what you're programmed. I feel like that's kind of where we're heading with Connor but at this you. point. If I keep him alive. Because I don't want to hurt people. What do you really want? Mm, let's be defensive. I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Back off, dude. I don't like you. Boy. I just have a really bad feeling I'm sure about you're him. familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Vaguely. It's a question of algorithms and computing capacity. What are you doing? What are you doing? What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. 
You're really kind of creepy. I, I don't... I don't have a good feeling about you. What is it really? Maybe I'm just paranoid. Is it paranoid. containing you? Or a living being? With a soul? No. Mm -mm -mm. I don't... I don't like where this is going. Oh, I really don't like where this is going. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. What? No. No. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Shoot! Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Look how crazy okay, his little light here. is going in his head. Right, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? <sighs> this is going to be the moment the I have of to make a decision, thing. isn't it? Shoot! An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. I can't tell if he's trying That's to make enough. him turn deviant or not. I can't Connor. figure him out. Connor! No. Don't. And I'll tell you what you want to know. <sighs> Shoot. No, 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 no. Rats! Rats! I don't have an out. Like, I can't. I want to know. But I can't. No. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Maybe I don't want to Will choose a side. People or stand up against your creators. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. I like how protective Hank is now. It's like, he's like, no, you're not going to put him in this kind of situation. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. What's that mean? Explain yourself. Kamsky. Ah. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. Hank Another is definitely trying to push us. You let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. Poor Connor. I'm sorry. Okay? Connor, you did the right thing. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yes! I have determined, like, Hank and Connor are already friends, and I want them to stay as friends. I mean, I already killed a Connor to save Hank. <sighs> Kinship, huh? Okay, let me take a look and see how we're doing. Connor died in Public Enemy, so we waited for Hank. Ah, I'm so mad at myself. So I guess this might have been like if they arrived together, perhaps because he had been alive. Hank isn't pleased to see Connor. We followed Hank to Kamsky's place. Chloe answers the door. Chloe is her name. She's not a Catherine. She's a Chloe. Awesome. So I read Space Tourism, analyzed the portrait, analyzed the painting, talked to Hank, read Fortune Teller, something I missed. Rats. I really wanted to analyze that portrait. Like, I did, but I, don't, I didn't get a chance to read it because I was busy talking about whether or not androids... Like, is beauty an objective thing or is it a subjective thing? And can, can an android, without being a deviant, actually know what is beautiful and what is not? Kamsky test. Okay. So I could have shot Chloe, or like 86% of the right people. We spared Chloe, and then we left Kamsky's house, and Hank thought Connor made the right decision. So obviously that other choice would be Hank thought Connor made the wrong decision. But let's continue. I'm just so happy that, so, 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 so happy that Connor's still okay. Hey, Marcus. 
Enjoy some time alone. Okay. I don't want to walk to the edge. I want to look. Read. Let me read. Android Riot. A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with the Cyber Life stores broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen. But this wasn't everyday criminality. The perpetrators were thought to be androids. Though the police have yet to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids merging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. The worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. No, we were not! No, we were not! Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. An eyewitness who asked to remain anonymous said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. <sighs> of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to the behavior of a deranged machine. Some are already connecting this issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower, again executed by androids. This may be the beginning of a disturbing and perplexing pattern of fake news. That was not good. Only two countries have Android industries that rival the United States, Russia and China, and they are locked in fierce competition to become the world's predominant Eastern economy, which continues to overtake the Western Hemisphere by leaps and bounds. CyberLife's, quote, almost human, unquote, model of Android design complements America's service economy. Russia and China have also developed Androids that reflect their national economies. Interesting. After failing that... That to emulate the blue blood model of design, Russia's Android manufacturers rely on more traditional construction methods. The resulting machines are less anthropic, but capable of operating in cold and inhospitable conditions. China's Androids use an alternative blue blood fluid with less upfront power generation, but greater efficiency. The result are Androids capable of operating for months without supervision or recharging in China's vast rural areas. Who is going to win the space race? With everybody going in different directions, it's too soon to tell. Interesting. That's really interesting. I hadn't thought about androids being like different androids, like androids being different depending on where you were, like what country you were from. What am I taking? What is that? Oh, it's a shard of glass. Like a, that's such a cool scene. And I saw a piano. Let me play. Can I play? Are we going to play the same song that we played at the very beginning at at Carl's house. That would make me really happy. I love being able to play this with my, like, oh, that was it. I love playing it because you, you actually use the touchpad on the PS4 controller, which is a really, really cool detail. And now we're walking to the edge. Marcus, what is going on in your head? I'm really curious. North! I was wondering where you were. Poor North. Think. I think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the war. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor Marcus. He looks tired. He just looks warm. So preoccupied. We'll go with the unlock. They all pattern. obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. I don't like that. And it's scary. There you go. At the same time. Scary is a better all word for that. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. <laughs> The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Let's be determined. If they won't listen, we'll fight. 
I don't want to fight though. Much about yourself since you've been with I want to be peaceful. What was your life like before Jericho? What was our life before Jericho? It was it was good. Let's be true. Let's tell the truth. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. Carl was he awesome. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. Yeah, we don't know much about. Well, we know a little bit about North, about you? but you never told me about your past. What did you do before? Well, we as the player know what North did, but Marcus doesn't. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Poor North. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Don't push her, though. It's my fault. You shouldn't have... Don't push her. She doesn't want to talk. It's okay. There's nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. More of you. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Oh, there, now you know North. I shouldn't have told you. North. See, it's okay. We're both androids. Oh, are we? Are we like sharing memories or something? I I saw your memories. What? What? When they left you for dead in the studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death. Of that man, I felt like I was there with you. I have questions. North. No, go after her, you idiot. If you guys are now suddenly lovers, go after her. Like, that was just really sudden. Like, I, I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. But it was just sudden. Poor Marcus is so preoccupied. <gasps> Who is this? Simon! Simon, you're okay. I'm so happy Simon's okay too. I knew we did the right thing by not killing you. Like, one of the times I do feel like, yes, I did make the right decision. He was okay. He got back to Jericho. We're good. So we are, here we are. What are we doing? Gang, what are we doing? This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. What are we planning? What is our... Understand. What is this? What is... Them who we really are. This place will go down in history. Why will this place go down in history? What are we going to do? prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus? Please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. What are we doing? This is the only way. Rally your people, convert more androids. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message is. You're free. So we're converting all the androids. Oh, I see you back there. So, yeah, I have a lot of questions. Because, like, I think I'm okay. It's not that I'm against... Marcus and North being a thing. I just was kind of surprised. I wasn't expecting that. Um, 
I mean, I guess they were kind of implying... Is there not anybody else in here? I see you. I guess they were kind of implying that Marcus... Like, at times I felt like Marcus was trying to impress North. And I mean, I guess it works. I just Come with us. feel really, really, really bad for North. Um, see, when you think of everything that she's been through, it makes perfect sense why she's so against the humans... And why she's so worried about humans hurting her or hurting people that she cares about. Like, to her, humans are a threat. And I can't blame her in the slightest for being suspicious and for being concerned and for being scared of what Marcus is doing. Whereas Marcus is... Because of his interactions with humans. Oh. I need to block the street. We're doing some... I don't know what we're doing. We're just converting androids. But I can work with that. And we're blocking the street for some reason. But, like, yeah, the Marcus North thing. And I... If, if she isn't... If we are, like, officially a thing street. now. I mean, like, I don't... That's our status, but we haven't. Oh, hang on. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Open manhole cover. Yeah. Convert more androids and open the manhole cover. Nope. Don't don't go anywhere. I need to convert you. You're free. I'm, I'm not sure what we're doing <laughs> other than North doesn't think it's a good idea. Um, Josh thinks it's a good idea. But whatever it is, we'll help with our message. Okay, we got more androids and could potentially get us all killed. And I'm hopefully hoping that we're doing something peaceful. I feel like... Oh, are we gonna... Are we gonna march? <gasps> that's a... That's a... Kara. Oh, that's so weird. So we don't, we can convert, we can send the messages. I'm assuming we're sending like a message like over like, like, like I don't want to say a radio frequency, but I feel like that might be what it is. It's like, you know how we have like, there's Wi-Fi and stuff. So it used to be he would just send messages. Like he would like touch somebody and then be like, you're free. Um, but I think now he can do it with just like, Looking and sending a message to them, basically. But it's also really weird how the game is doing it. It's like, it's so much more easier. To, it's so much easier now to con to um, to convince androids to come with us. Whereas before, like it would, you had to push a whole bunch of buttons and stuff. And so I don't know if that's trying to say that, trying to show that it's easier for Marcus to convert people now, or. See, like, now it's not even making me hold. I'm just pushing the button briefly. Maybe, maybe Marcus is. Oops, hang on. Maybe Marcus is, um, RA9. I don't know. Oh, this is so cool. Look at all of us. Hey, humans, please listen to us. How many do we have? 152 androids in the ranks. Humans, we do not want to fight you or anything, but we're here. We, please listen to us. Please. We do not want violence. We are peaceful. 204. We've converted 52 people. Come join us, friends. We may die, but come join us. This is so cool. We're not dispersing. Disperse We're not hurting anybody. That's an order. Raise hands. We're unarmed, see? Oh, wow. That's so cool. Jesus Christ. This is so powerful. Jesus fucking Christ. Please, we're not trying to hurt anybody. 
this bets is control 457. I got a lot of androids down here. We are not trying to hurt anybody. We are trying to. Oops. Uh, no more sla no more slavery. We are people. We are people. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. Look, some of the people in the background are cheering. Some of them are not. I like We Are Alive. I like that a lot. We Are People. I like those two. Ah, uh, hello, police. We we are here. We are protesting peacefully. Why, why do you have to do this? We are not here to hurt anybody. Uh, this is not going to end well. This isn't a riot. Uh, this is not going to end well. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. Please don't. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. We're just we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. No, we can't just attack. Marcus, we can take them. It's not we a question attack. of whether we can take them. We have to show them we're not violent. We should I'm just with stay Josh on this one. It means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now before it's too late. Uh, this this is, that? is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Stand ground. We have to show them we won't back down. I'm sorry. Stay right people. here. Oh. Oh. Okay, but the public opinion is wrong. Right. Uh, we have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Uh, stand ground. We're not moving. Shoot. I'm sorry. No, no, don't. Stop. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. Shoot, 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 charge, sacrifice, run away. I'm not sacrificing anybody, run. Go, now you go. Go now, go. I'm sorry, uh, I don't wanna kill anybody and I don't wanna attack. Shoot. Everybody hates me, ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I made the wrong choice. I know I probably did. I just... If I clicked sacrifice, chances are Marcus would die, and I'm not okay with that. I don't want to kill anybody else. I don't want anybody else to die. Shh, Marcus fled. But if I, if I attacked, that's not going to be good. <sighs> this game is amazing. Uh, but it's ridiculous. Okay. 84% shared memories, 94% shared past, 95% share ask North about the past, past, um, Simon survived public enemy, only 30%, that's crazy, Simon forgives Marcus in the mall, so we missed one thing there, be calm with the owner, I guess we could have been violent, 63%, Sixty one percent stood their ground. Twenty three percent ran away. I just forty four percent sacrificed themselves and nineteen percent charge. 
shoot, I just, I didn't want everybody to die because of me, and I wasn't going to charge. I felt like that was going to end badly. You know what, I'm just going to go with my decision, and I'll work on making Jericho and everybody like me again. Talk to Amanda. Yeah, Amanda, let's talk about your picture that I didn't get a chance to see, but let's talk. Wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Am I going crazy? Look at, look at these markings. You know what this reminds me of? And I don't know if it's... I had mentioned in one of the previous episodes that I was wondering if this was taking place in, in Connor's mind. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the, the symbols that were on the apartment of the one guy. Um, There's one guy's apartment when we went to a deviant. And he, um, he had these, like, these mazes all over his apartment. And I'm wondering if that's, I, I want to see, I want to go back to the previous times we've been here and see if that's there or see if that's been there since then. I still don't know what this is and it bothers me. So when we go close to touch it, it makes, it shows that we are clearly an android, but I don't know what that is. All right. Is this frozen? Am I going to die if I walk on it? Maybe. Amanda? Let's talk. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. Machines are rising up against them. Are you not cold, Amanda? Or is this Humans none of this real? But to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Let's stay silent. Let's ask about Amanda's picture. Tell me what I missed. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would... So you me. are... Oh, an so interface. So this is in your head. What are you getting at? Kamsky Connor series. I really like this place. Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Huh. Secret. You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not We're ask neutral questions. with Amanda. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Hmm. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. That sounded like a threat, Amanda. You're off the case. What? The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Yeah. We're, we just need more time, I'm sure Hank, we can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always <sighs> saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to... Silence. No! I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Hank, friend, path unlocked, okay? Talk to Hank. Hank, I'm sorry. Look, all the the androids are all gone now. Nobody's here. Nobody's here in the police station. That's it. Frustrated more time, explain. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be
be deactivated. No, I, oh, did I mess up? No. What if we're on the wrong side, Kyle? <gasps> what if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I love this. Uh, depict regrets. When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. No! Connor, you took that the wrong way. I wanted you to have Come regrets. Stop. Not about stopping it, about... Now it's too late. <sighs> Listen to Hank. When you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. <laughs> He's like, oh no. Not deviant, determined, troubled. I don't know why I did it. Sincere friends, good officer Hanks. Let's be sincere. I know it hasn't always been easy, but I want you to know I really appreciate it working with you. And that's not just my social relations program talking. I, I really mean that. At least, I think I do. <laughs> Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. No. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. We can do I it. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Shoot. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I Hank, you me. are incredible. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Five minutes is not enough time. Shoot. Yeah. Five minutes is not enough time. Shoot. Go, 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 go. I want to watch. <laughs> Poor Hank. Thank you, Hank. You're incredible. No, we got to do this. We don't have time. Five minutes is not enough time. Oh. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks go. Here, or Leave me alone. Tell you? Ironic low profile call. I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Leave me alone. Go. Leave me alone. Are from the way back. Androids have a tendency to get themselves set on fire these days. Oh, you are. Can I slap you? Can I like? Mm. You are not cool. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Not enough time. Not enough time. I am not letting Connor get destroyed, if I can help it. I didn't serve her. Do not have enough time. So we gotta find it. I mean, a password. What would a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Date of birth. Really? <laughs> Okay. Where is Jericho? Jer okay, we gotta find Jericho. The answer's here so what do we got? Shall we just have... I don't think... So he needed... He, we need so, something for, deact for reactivation. I don't think you would know where Jericho is, though. Like, we... That was the very beginning of the game. Okay, so we can look at the statue. Is there a secret here? We ask that you recognize our dignity. Shoot, our we do not have enough time. Rights. I don't want to listen to this whole thing. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and animals. Shoot, come on. I don't this have time. We gotta find Jericho.
HK 400 clue. The truth is this. Is this, is it mean what I think it means? Ah! Okay, this is so cool. Yes, break it. Jericho is somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. We got it. Cross reference to Ferndale. Okay, so, so we're close-ish. We're getting there. Shoot, um... Possible, so we cannot reactivate you, but you have bio components. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna have to like mix and match, I think. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station was we're gonna have to reactivate you. You killed me. I don't like you. You killed me. What do we need? 3983. Okay. 3983 V. That's what we need. We do not have enough time. Please have the one I need. Yes, you do. Give me a run feature. We do not have time. Come on. Work. It's dark. Where? Help. I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You should. You killed me. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Jerk. Okay. Now what am I gonna do? All right, we're gonna scan memory. We do not have time. And you can't rip out my heart this time. Oh, shoot. Come on. Hang on. I'm gonna do it. Too many buttons to push. I'm not gonna let you rip out my heart this time. Do we get it? Do we have it? We've got it, okay. Which I don't know if I'm okay with, but I just do not want him to, I don't want him to die, so I don't know. Is he, does he want Jericho so he can hunt down the deviants? Or does he want Jericho so he can run away? I feel like it might be to hunt the deviants, and I'm not okay with that, but I don't want him to die either. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 Last Chance Connor is the name of the chapter. All right, let's... Trophy earned Bloodhound. All right, let's take a look and see what everybody did. So 29% looked at the Magic Stone is what it's called. Okay. In PlayStation... 98%. So there were some people who already knew where Jericho's location was in this. That's that's really interesting. I wonder how you figure that out before this. There's a few people that don't have insufficient that have insufficient evidence. I guess that's like if you I don't know. So Hank goes to his desk. We talk to Hank. Perkins arrives. Hank wants to help in 64%. <laughs> Hank punches Perkins. That's awesome. We created a diversion. 28% answered calmly. Gavin is convinced. Only 28% of the time Gavin is convinced. But the problem is if Gavin isn't convinced, we're in trouble. We're dead there. Okay. So look at all of this evidence. Man. Whew. There's a lot of other evidence we could have had. And something here that would have just ended there. Whew. So only 16% broke the statue, which is interesting. But then again, I think it's because, where is it? I don't know how many people actually had the hint. So 36% had the memory hint. 14% linked the map to other evidence. 93% located Jericho. 20, only 27% left the basement. I guess that might happen if he ran out of time or if Gavin told people. And Connor eluded Perkins. Ooh, this is awesome. Okay, so... I'm going to end this episode here for now. I am loving this. I want to continue playing it. I'm going to record the next episode right after this because um, I'm, I'm so into this and I can't stop playing it. But I'm going to end this episode for you guys here because we're already at about 54 minutes in. 
this is good. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that Connor is not dead. But I'm so terrified that I'm going to kill somebody. And I'm so... I really worry that I made the wrong choice with Marcus. Even though I feel like I'm okay with my choice. Because a lot of people are still alive. But we'll see. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. I'm really excited about the possibility of Connor going to Jericho. But I'm also terrified about it. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a lovely day. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. Because part 11 will be up shortly. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.